So my old X8W control board fried because the camera got shorted out, uh, must have gotten unplugged while the quadcopter was on. Apparently, this is the chip responsible. Um, by the time I found out that I could replace that, my new board already came in. I ordered it from Gearbest, uh, came in within 28 days, which is uh, 28 whole days. I'm not sure how many business days. Um, but it came in relatively quickly. Uh, this is the old board and the comparison to the new board, apparently it's the same for the X8W as the X8C. The old board, I mean, the part number on that, that chip is a little bit different, but essentially this is the new board and essentially everything's the exact same. Um, you know, here's the front of it and you can see on this one, it's exactly the same. Uh, the back as well is the same, uh, no new changes, everything else, you know, part numbers, everything says version 5, everything else is the same. Um, but the main difference I see is on the attachment board that comes with, this is the one that was originally with the X8W, and as you can see it's version 1, and the problem comes over here where the three and a half millimeter plug, when it comes out, it shorts out that particular chip on the board. On the new version, which as you can see is version two, it looks like they might have, might have fixed that problem by giving them individual uh, leads in a, in a straight pattern versus you know sideways like this. I'm not a chip expert, so I'm not really sure, but uh, it looks like they may have fixed it on version two, probably because people have had this problem. So I'm gonna solder this in, see if there's anything else that's new but it looks pretty good. So now I've finished soldering. Uh, this is the old board. All that's left is the old plug that I kept on it. I took literally everything else off. Here's the new board. Um, I took the antenna and doubled it up so it's on the back as well. So double antennas. New switches in place with the upgraded design. Uh, all the motors are back and yes, you're not seeing things. Uh, I've got two banana plugs, uh, one at the top, one at the bottom. I'm going to be doing double batteries, one internal, one external battery. So that's what that's all about. And no, I am not touching that resistor. I am off of it. So I am all good. I'm going to see how this works. So here's how I'm doing the internal external battery. Uh, I modified the tray so that it fits inside underneath the control board. And then here's where the normal battery is going to go, the second battery. And then the battery door will close it. Uh, so there will be one inside going horizontal and a second one going vertical for double the capacity in the same space.